Hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hello, my name is Vera Shows AP. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my page, depending on the platform you're watching me from. So today it's all about the season. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So today I want to open this. Yeah. But before I do that, if this is your first time of coming to watch, thank you for clicking to watch. And to my amazing returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back. Yeah. Hi, friends. So today's video is full content. <laughs> this video was filmed on different days because it's all about Christmas and how I spent the Christmas. So I've come with a whole lot in this video. You will get to see the different meals that I made. <laughs> Though some parts of my Christmas events were not captured in camera. I honestly wish I did for you to see. However, I will tell you all about it. I will tell you all about it in this video. So grab your popcorn, relax and watch every clip of this video. This is because it contains different clips embedded in one. More so, I have a special message for you towards the end of the video as well. I also want to let you know that I had Christmas photo shoots. Family of four Christmas photo shoots. I will show you that also. This clip you're looking at was when I was done cooking all my Christmas meal. You will also get to see this. This is what I have said. Just relax and watch. Okay, let's begin. So since it's Christmas period, I want to give you a quick gist. I was not able to capture all these moments with camera. So at my area, we had a seasonal Christmas event. It was so beautiful. We had seasonal street foods. They were so delicious. Different cultures, English food, African food, Different people with different culture, with different food. It was a street food with Christmas lightning. <sighs> we had street entertainers, live music stage, crafts, carol singing, steampunk punk and book festival stores. We also had Santa Dash and also there were a lot of processions. It was a beautiful sight. I wish I had recorded them. I was so carried away that I didn't record all those moments. But I just felt I should just let you know about it. For you to know how my Christmas is going. So after that event, I took my son to go see Santa. I will show you a clip in a minute. However, I will also just show you a picture that we took because I couldn't capture that moment as well, but just a picture. So this is what I was saying. I couldn't capture some of these things on camera, but yeah, I will show you a picture. When we got to this venue, <laughs> well, he knows his way around. Most persons were asked to come here. This is because everyone had their own time slot to see Santa. So now this is a play time before we see Santa, but it wasn't ready to go in. <laughs> I will tell you a story shortly about the lorry toy that I was holding in this picture. He was concentrating on the toy and not on Santa. After this event, we went back home. So guys, this is just past 3 to 4 and it's already dark in here. So this is literally 3 to 4 p.m. and it's dark already. <laughs> this weather just reminded me something that happened when I first experienced this weather. As a student then, I had a lot of assignments I wanted to do, so I was so engulfed in it that I didn't check time. When it was time for me to take a break, I looked through the window. Everywhere was dark. I was surprised. 
I then hurriedly tried to finish up something else I scheduled for that day, but it dawned on me that I should check the time. It was that point I checked my time and it was just 3 p.m. Anyway, let's continue with my Christmas experience. So it was a long day. So after the first event that we saw Santa, we went to a different place to see Santa again that you just saw the pictures. And again, while I was at home, we had Santa passing over in the streets. And I will tell you about it again in this video. So as you've seen, yeah, I took my son to go see Santa. Uh, but you, I don't know, for some reason, he was concentrating on a lorry toy that was there, you know. But luckily for us, you have to like play a game. If you win, then yeah, <laughs> you go with the one that you got. So I tried a game. I tried it. But you know, those bigger kind of toys, you don't easily get it when you're playing a game. Yeah, so, but however, I tried and he got it. So we came back with it. And you could see why I was coming back, all of that. So, we agreed, like, we agreed, okay, if you get that, you're going home with the lorry. And it's really a big car. He loved it. So, yeah. And beside that, Santa gave this. <laughs> Santa gave this. And now, I want to open it in camera. I will open it. It's still sealed, Yeah yep so this is a gift from santa let's open it together oh yeah let's go it's a wonderful gift to kids oh here it is oh it's a beautiful the monkey gong Oh, so it's a book. So invariably, he went there and he got this from Santa. And also, we were able to also get a lorry from the game. And there's something that happened. I, and my, my phone wasn't close to me. I would have taken a video of it. So we were inside. We had some lovely music playing in the streets. So I was wondering, so I thought some probably somebody was upstairs playing something, but it appears not to be that. So what I did was like, okay, let me just go up to check. So why I came out of the kitchen and trying to go upstairs, I heard someone knocking, you know, like someone knocking by, you know. So I just had a sneak like to check who that could be. I saw Santa, Santa, you know, when I was growing up <laughs> as a kid, I didn't see all that kind of fancy parade with Santa, but I saw that. So invariably, yeah, oh Lord, I wish I had my camera to record that moment. So we could see a donkey <laughs> wet dressed and a Santa was sitting in it with gifts. He was literally going through the street and they were knocking on people's uh, doorways to come out and receive gifts. And we, because it was so fast, it happened so fast that we, I wouldn't get the information that they were coming. So it happened so fast that we had to like, <laughs> like look through the window and wave that Santa, you know, and Santa waved at us. So if, I had that information before now. What I would have done is to probably to go out and just get a little clip of that. It was such a beautiful sight. Ah, such a beautiful sight. Merry Christmas. So this is 25th morning. What time is it? This should be around 10 to 11 a.m. So on the 25th of every year, I believe the few Christmas I've spent here, the Lassen shops doesn't open. Lassen shops doesn't open on Christmas Day, except few of Lassen shops. So what we did was to go shopping yesterday. I had to just go shopping yesterday, be twenty fourth, and amazingly, they don't still open all day on that day, and it happens to be on a Sunday. So yeah, Sundays the the last session, all those big malls and shops, they don't 
open all day like the regular time to 10 p.m or 12 p uh, 12 a.m but what they do is they close around 4 p.m and couple with that this is christmas as well it's christmas eve we know they will also close at four so what i did i had to go shopping yesterday uh, to get some few things I will use for Christmas. A <laughs> few things I will have to cook for Christmas. Just take a look at it. Let me just show you a few clips of videos that I made while shopping yesterday. <laughs> So I bought a few things I'll be using for <laughs> to cook this morning. But yeah, I I already have some. Uh, I do stock my house monthly. So sometimes it do last more than a month. I bought a carton of turkey and it's in my freezer. I also have chicken. I also have be uh, beef. I have turkey leg. I have fish. I have different kind of fish. There is this one called hag fish. Like I have so many different kind of fish and even mackerel and different kind of meat in my freezer. Both liver, both um, what's that called again? Gizzard. Yeah. So that's what I want to use uh, to do my giz dodo. Oh yeah, I'm looking outside. Christmas is happening already. I'm just looking through my window. <laughs> and some persons, that's my neighbor, opposite neighbor. They're having visitors already. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so I have gizzard and I I will show you in the next few clips or so. Um, I don't know the sequence these videos are going to be, but I will also show you the before gizzard and plantain and the after. I also have a stew in the fridge and some other things. Like, I already have already made foods. Yeah, it's just to add up to what I have. So I'm making that bean cake also and I'll make jello fries. Yeah, I'll make jello fries. I will also make coleslaw i'll do a coleslaw so that we could use it to balance it yeah i will also make banana bread today it's a lot i'm doing it. so because i already have most things in the fridge and i already have food in the fridge as well so what i intend to do right now is to one do my jello fries i i i will also show you the turkey that i'm using uh, like I said, I bought um, a carton of turkey and I left it in the freezer. So whenever I want to use, I take from it. So this dodo is plantain. You use plantain for it. You use plantain and also uh, the gizzard. And you do all you have to do to it. Because this is not a channel for cooking. I'm likely not show it, but I might show it. But I will also show you the after cooking. And yeah, maybe I will also film how I did it. Maybe in another video I might show the process that I, I, I passed you making all of that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to make it that as well. And I will also make a beans cake. Beans cake is what we call moi moi. Moi moi is beans cake. So I'm making it with egg or fish yeah <laughs> and i also have i already have um stew in the freezer and also chicken uh the bean soup with uh, chicken curry so what i intend to do right now is to do my jello fries when i'm done with that i would also uh do my gizz dojo like i mentioned and i also do <laughs> <laughs> banana bread i'll do bean cake because i also have other food in the fridge in the freezer as well so this is just to add up to it so <laughs> i may not show all the process but i will definitely show you how they all look like <laughs> it's a long day so i will just go off right now 
pack my hair. <laughs> we are my own apron. Like, I just have to prepare and make the food, but I will definitely show you some of the process. Yeah, see you later. I already have twelve things in the house. I don't have my things in bulk, so I have lots of stuff. A lot of it. It's like a full bowl here. Yeah? It's a full bowl. So this is a blended fresh tomato. I will be adding this to it. I will also be added, adding this to it. I'll blend them together. Yeah, and I also have my chili, fresh chili that, that is bonnet pepper that I'm going to be blending as well for the jello fries. Also be blending this together with all of that. But however, I'm, I'll still add more onion. So I'm going to dry the fresh tomatoes. That's the fresh tomatoes with the red pepper. All the stuff you just saw now, I blended them together and I'm going to dry it. I'm still blending more, yeah? So I will dry it, like leaving it in, uh, leaving it in this gas, like the heat, so that it can dry up the extra water in it before we use, the extra water in it before we use. So um blend them more but while this is drying i want to steam my turkey and the giza that i'll be using for the giz dodo this is the turkey i will use for the jollof rice and there's also giza here that i will use for the giz dodo so i'm going to steam it together guys this is mission this is mission apothec <laughs> mission about it oh lord so i wanted to make bink cake yeah i bought everything i needed but i realized i don't have the leaf that's the leaf you use in wrapping it and i my foil just finished and i forgot to buy another foil because usually when you have blended all the bean uh, your beans and everything you want to use you have to put it in a foil or there's an African leaf we use. I can't remember the name right now. I don't have the leaf, but I thought I have a foil. But I, I thought I have a foil, but it's actually finished. So this is mission. <laughs> this is mission about it. However, I still have to do other things. Uh, the jollof fries, is the dough. Um, of course coleslaw and banana bread so I will just have to leave this one I don't think I will do it again I can't do the bean cake today again but we have a lot of other things to eat all those things I mentioned and I also have lots of different kind of food in the freezer I have stew I have the I also have bush meat that you can also be taking and be sipping your drink like this Christmas is actually Christmas eh? so yeah I just thought I should update you on this so this is what I'll be using for my coleslaw I don't usually like my coleslaw to be very busy yeah I like it simple so yeah the coleslaw is ready yeah so this is the rice that i will be using um you know we have different kind of rice we have basmati we have like you know we have different kind of rice you can imagine that yeah but i'll be using this long grain rice so 
this particular rice is quite good for jollof rice so this is what i will be using and um, let me zoom it in a little so you can see it the reason is when you use this it's everybody with everybody with their tastes with what they like the kind of uh, green they like but this particular one the reason why i'm using it because i'm used to it and um not just that as well but it's i don't know how to explain it i actually don't know how to explain it but it's actually quite good for jollof rice it's it gives it that taste because i've noticed if i use basmati rice for jollof rice the way it comes out ah no no no, no. I, do, I don't actually like the way it comes out so this is the main reason why i want to use it because this gives me the texture that i love yeah the love rice is ready. This camera is not doing justice to the color. Oh no. The this dodo. If you look at the part, the one on, I think the one on top of the spoon is gizzard. So it's gizzard mixed with ripe plantain. Giz dodo. <laughs> Go slow, and this is the jollof rice. Small is already demolishing it, <laughs> and then this is geese dodo with plantain. As you can see, there is geese on top of this spoon, so it's geese with ripe plantain. Geese dodo. Someone is already demolishing it. <laughs> And this is part of the what's that called again? What's that called? Okay. okay, so as you can see, you're already finishing it. Yeah. Okay. Some people are almost done with this. No coleslaw. For yours, is that how you want yours? Okay. Why you're taking yours with go? I will just go around. I'll keep doing everybody's food. Don't worry. <laughs> Right now, that I'm seeing how many persons are eating this food. This is not too big. Too big. Oh, really? Okay. Enjoy yourself. I still have bush meat. You can go take bush meat. It's it's and you have enough to drink. Okay, just eat and get enjoy it. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, okay. <laughs> this is food definition of. Eat and relax, or should I say YouTube and relax? So you're watching, and hmm. did you see how Rash is taking care of you? Hmm? You have a big auntie. You have a big auntie. Are you enjoying your meal? Hmm. You sure? Are you sure? Uh, but you're just shaking your head. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll keep videoing everybody's food. I'm not a trouble auntie, okay? But I'll video everybody's food. <laughs> As I'm eating, some people are still taking. As others, oh, you're not taking anything like others. This is what you want to use. Okay. So now I want to make banana bread. This is my banana. I'll be taking four banana from here. This is my flour. Uh, that's the egg, the sugar, baking soda, the milk, and here is my vegetable oil. Yep.
so my banana bread is ready yeah hi friends so yeah you see, i'm done with it and, and you've seen all of that yeah so that's it and also i also have a very important message for you at the end of this video don't be in a hurry to go I have a special message from me to you <laughs> so just enjoy the rest of the video so on this day we are having our photo shoots <laughs> you know how it is when you have to do a photo shoot with uh, full family children and the rest and even <laughs> I, you wouldn't want to know so this is us trying to convince our small man to have pictures with us because he was all over the place playing i just want to say thank you to all my amazing yeah i just want to say thank you to all my amazing returning viewers my subscribers I mean it's a growing community but the support is massive it is massive I literally just started this YouTube channel however the support is massive the support I'm getting I just want to say a very big thank you and also my Facebook page I mean it's been there for some time but I haven't really been creating uh, giving out videos to, as much as I have done recently and my followers are also increasing there and they're also engaging. I want to say a very big thank you. I also want to take this moment to extend my heartfelt wishes to each and every one of you. From my heart to yours, I wish you a joyous holiday season filled with love, laughter and cherished moments with your loved ones. As we prepare to bid farewell to the current year and welcome the new one, I'm sending you my warmest wishes for a prosperous and fulfilling new year ahead. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for being a part of this amazing community. Your support, engagement and positivity has been incredible and I'm truly grateful for each one of you. May the upcoming year be filled with new opportunities, growth, and beautiful moments. Let's step into it with hope, courage, and determination to make it our best year yet. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Here is to spreading more joy, kindness, and positivity together in the upcoming year. Wishing you a spectacular holiday season and a happy new year. Mm -hmm.